In Sound Focus 5, we're looking at sound and stress shifts. So you know that consonants and vowel sounds often change, and sometimes you don't know that because in writing they don't change. They only change in speaking and listening. So sometimes you get confused about that, and you wonder, are there any rules? I can say that there are certain patterns, so it's a good, a good idea to learn about these systematic changes. And they occur within certain word families. So when I talk about a word family, that means a group of words that has the same root. For example, the word explode, which is a verb, belongs to the same family as explosion, which is a noun, and explosive, which is an adjective, and explosively, which is an adverb. So these four words belong to the same word family. And they have changes from the verb explode, which ends in d, d, d sound, and explosion, S-I-O-N, with the sound z, z, explosion. And then we have the adjective explosive, where the S sounds as it normally sounds, sive, explosive. And explosively is easy because you only add the L-Y to the the adjective form. Now, other words that follow this pattern are include and inclusion, just like exclude and exclusion. They're not on the list, but they follow the same pattern. So include, inclusion, inclusive, and inclusively. We also have another pattern which is for the word receive. Receive is the verb, and we have the noun reception. So this really changes a lot in the second syllable, from e receive to esep, reception. We receive our guests, our guests, and we had a big party. We had a reception. So that is the noun form. And if you are ready to listen to new ideas, you are receptive. If you are receptive to new ideas, you don't try to say no to them. You start listening to them and decide if they're valuable or not. Recep, which is the same part as for the noun reception, but this one has v at the end, receptive. Tiv is the adjective form, and then receptively, receptively for the uh, adverb. Now, if we have the uh, another word like that of the same pattern, we can write this one down, and that starts with the letter D. So, just like in receive, we can have the word deceive, right? That's a verb, deceive. The noun is deception, deception. The adjective is deceptive, deceptive. And the adverb is deceptively, deceptively. Ah, that looks deceptively complicated. That means it looks complicated, but it deceives you. It's not really complicated. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. So we can use the word deceptive, deception, deceive. These are the same uh, changes in sounds. How about some words like geology, geologist, geological, and geologically? These really change not only in the sound, but also in the stress. The stress shifts from geology, geology, four syllables, stress the second. So let's try that one, geology. Don't don't put a don't put a glottal stop. Not g up g up, but gia 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 geology 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 for two. And the and the, the the person who studies geology is a geologist geologist. So four two four syllables stress a second geologist geologist. When we get to the adjective. We have the ending geological. So here's how I want you to remember it. Always remember da 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 ah, or just think of logical. 
Oh, that's logical. Oh, that's so logical. It's so logical, it's geological. All right, so that's a good way for you to remember the pattern. Anything that comes before it might be one syllable or two syllables or three syllables. It doesn't matter. Da da logical. Da logical. Da 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 logical. All right, so always remember that pattern. Geological. Geological. Add L Y geologically. And when you add geologically, you don't have to pronounce the A in geologically. You can just make it sound like K-L-Y, cle. You don't have to pronounce it. Geologically, it's okay. But lots of times we just shorten it to geologically. That stress is the same. The stress and the adjective and the adverb are always the same. All right, so then we have psychology, psychology. The, and the person is a psychologist psychologist. The adjective is psychological, psychological. The adverb, psychologically, psychologically. How are you doing? So far so good? Okay, that's logical. All the logical. So you can have, how about bio? What do we say for bio? So notice we, we when we say bio as a short form or as a um, a prefix we say o bio but when we say it in the word we change the o to a uh. the same as geo gia gia so we make it a weak a uh, schwa sound by uh, biological all right now if it is a noun biology biology it's for two biologist biologist for two when we move it to the adjective well, we, we use the adjective, the, sh the stress shifts over to the da 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 logical, right? So, biological, biological, adverb, biologically, biologically. Now, this is the same for economy, so it follows the same pattern. Economy, economy, the person is an economist, economist, the adjective, Economical, economical. Now, I want to point out another change in vowel. When we say economy, the first sound is i, i. It's the same sound as in the word finger, the same i sound, economy. It's a short schwa vowel. It's a, you could say economy also. We don't usually say e as in she. We don't usually say e economy. Because it's a weak vowel, we don't stress it. We don't put any uh, tenseness in our vowel. So we make it e, economy. However, when we say the adjective, we see in the word economical, we have to think how many syllables? Economical. And the stress is on three. Okay, so economical. So the second syllable becomes k, k, k. The first syllable, for a little bit of alternation, we change this sound to e. Eh. We have two ways if we say economical, e or e, eh, economical. But it's no longer a schwa as in the word economy. Let's try that. Economical, economical. And the adverb? Economically, economically. All right, let's go on to the next word. Phonology. Oh, yeah, I'm interested in that. Phonology. The person, phonologist, phonologist. Notice those O's. They're not all the same sound. They're all different. F, na, l. Do you see the difference? Watch my mouth. Weak, strong, weak. Weak, strong, weak. F, na, l, g. Got it? You have to be able to do that in order to change the rhythm of your speech. If you pronounce all of them, phonology, it's not good, right? Phonology. And the person? Phonologist. Phonologist. Now, I just told you to say phonologist, but now when we get to the adjective, we have to change because the stress shifts from syllable two to syllable three. Phonologist, four, three, that's four, two. 
Phonological. That's five syllables. We stress the third syllable. The third syllable. So we're making open, close, open, close, like this. Phonological. Got it? Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. uh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So be careful. Those letter O's, on paper they're the same. In speech they're different. Phonological. 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 And the adverb, phonologically. Phonologically. Okay, next word. Anatomy. Okay, letter A, letter A, different sound. Watch me. Not ana, but uh, na, t, me. Got it? The schwa sounds very important. Anatomy. Anatomy. Person? Anatomist. Anatomist. Got your, do you get your reduced vowel, your schwa sound? Anatomist. All right, now we're getting into the adjective. And then anatomical. Five syllables. So we have to go again from clear to weak to clear to weak. All right, so clear to weak, clear to reduce vowels. A, uh, ah, watch me. Anatomical. A, uh, ah, uh, uh. Anatomical. 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 And the adverb. Anatomically. Anatomically. The next word. Astronomy. Uh, not a, ah, but uh. Stra, n, astrona, uh, ah, uh, astronomy, astronomy, person, astronomist, astronomist. Oh, sorry, sorry. Astronomer, astronomer, astronomer. And when we get to the adjective, we again have this alternation of clear, reduced, clear, reduced. So. Astronomical. A, uh, ah, uh, uh. Astronomical. Astronomical. Adverb? Astronomically. Astronomically. Next word. Geography. Y, y. Make sure you don't have a glottal stop here. Not e, ah. Gea, geography. Geography. Gr, gr. Weak vowel, uh, uh, schwa sound. Geography. Person, geographer. Geographer. Adjective. Ge uh, not ge but geographical. So again, alternate clear, reduced, clear. Weak, weak. All right, so e uh, a fical. Okay. Geographical. Geographical. Adverb? Geographically. Geographically. Okay, I think it's a time for us to, it's past time for us to say goodbye. So I'll ask you if you have any more final questions before we uh, sign off.